Hey guys, we're now in Prague's Meat Factory Club with Legendary Gal. Thank you, sir, for finding time for us. Extremely appreciated. As you arrived a few moments ago and you will be going to Berlin for tomorrow's show, I guess there will not be much of a time for sightseeing of Prague, right? Uh, rarely touring is giving us opportunity to sightsee. Was there in the past some time to check around Prague and do some sightseeing? Mm, not proper. It is on the list. I have several good friends here. So uh, a lot of invitations, but it's to get time mm -hmm. to complete it. That's something else. I saw the, the scheduled whole tour and quite tight. Uh, plenty of locations, very short time. So, uh, but in general, uh, this is not the only sold out show so far of this tour. And the tour, how is it going so far? It's been good. It's been good. Uh, long distances sometimes, so not the best planned. Really? Schedule, but, uh, but otherwise uh, all three bands work well together. Uh -huh. yeah. What was the craziest uh, journey so far that you took? Like, uh, oh, well, there's still some coming, but uh, let's say uh, the distance from Madrid to Milan is, of course. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, we decided to stay in uh, Madrid and then just fly in, so. Oh. But our driver, of course, had to, with all the equipment. How do you spend the time on the tour? Because uh, when we're waiting for interviews, waiting for recording shows, always spending that hour there, two hours there, do you read? Do you watch movies? I usually just stare into it, nothing. That's, uh, yeah, but I'm good at it. I have to congratulate you on the amazing debut of your, of your band, uh, Gals Wirt. Um, I guess uh, your colleagues must have been patient with your perfectionism, but it's uh, always the result proved itself right and it's a hell of a great work. I'm very pleased with the, the work process um, um, with, the, uh, with this band. They've, they've been told don't interrupt <laughs> by others so it's, uh, it's been a very uh, it's been a easier process than my, uh, some of my previous colleagues. Was there because of the experience or also the trust that you have with your co-players? I built the band uh, slower than uh, since it, so I kind of have allowed things to grow. sure that it's the right people that's in the band. There's so many bands that are, uh, they lose one member there and replace, yeah, yeah. and then you end up with a product that is, has too many branches that are not connected. So I, uh, so we ended up uh, being a uh, for some on the uh, on the album, um, and uh, yeah, I still want a fifth member. I still want a second guitarist, but uh, yeah, it's difficult to find people that are are uh, working out socially mm -hmm. and so creatively. It really has to fit. Yeah. So, um, but we are. Uh, I have someone in sight. <laughs> I uh, have to say that in in that process I'm I'm a dictator because it's it it's a concept that mm -hmm. the album deals with so you don't force something to fit mm -hmm. it's a piece of a puzzle basically so you 
you don't uh, start to cut the pieces to make them fit into it. That's what I would like to ask, uh, in what way do you consider uh, the carving the voices as just one of the uh, pieces of puzzle or one of the most crucial pieces? It's a reason why it's put where it is on the album, as a centerpiece. It summons uh, the whole uh, album into, it binds the whole album. But it's very, uh, very clean in expression in the sense of uh, lyrical. But it does have all the essences that are connected to, to the rest of the, rest of the album. But this one speaks to me the most as, especially the second half, reminds me of uh, my usual walks into the nature by where I love to get willingly lost uh, with some heavy music playing and then I have to struggle uh, with the loss of uh, sunlight and long journey back home as it sort of the, uh, brings me new challenges and practices for the real life. Yes, the whole last part is about becoming the self. That's um, the essence of the, the hidden meaning. Of the Do you believe that we're uh, getting stronger by our experiences and shocks of life? I think uh, it can go both ways for many. It depends on where you are. And how strong personality you have, right? Yeah, and very often it, uh, it does. There's a, I've met a lot of strong people that are have lost themselves completely as well. Yeah, yeah. So it's not a, it's not a certainty. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. There's always obstacles that right. might uh, force you to fall. Do you believe there is a certain time to say I need help when for some for some people it's really really hard to say to uh, to ask for help as they feel it might go really badly but they're afraid to ask for help. Mm -hmm. There is probably a lot of people that are in need of that. A lot of people are always ask for response from the outside, but it's, I think the, the best way to grow is to be self-dependent. Do you believe that in order to grow, you need to experience those shocks, whether career, relationship, or loss of a close person. Yeah, in, uh, yeah, it, it doesn't necessarily mean need to be shocks, but it needs to be movement. It needs to be changed. It's, uh, uh, like stagnation is uh, when everything is in one form, it's very difficult to kind of grow out. It's, uh, we, we don't put a frame on the painting until it's finished. So. Thank you for giving me a hint for another question. Uh, are you on the tour? Probably you won't have any time for do to any drawings, any paintings, right? I uh, need to isolate myself to do that. But I, it might, uh, they might start to shape here. past very honest uh, about your sexuality. I have a couple of uh, gay friends as well as my best friend and the roommate, she's a lesbian. Were there a number of uh, reactions from, from uh, people from metal community thanking you to be so honest? Uh, I've met quite a few, yes. So, uh, yeah, it should be unnecessary, but uh, I'm glad to help. So. Uh, in one interview, you mentioned that most of these uh, compliments were coming from Eastern Europe. 
Well, may, maybe because it's more of a necessity there than uh, yeah. Western Europe have been uh, more liberal. Yeah. Um, I'm half uh, Yugoslavian and I spent my puberty in Belgrade. In those regions, uh, Southern Europe, Eastern Europe, they're very uh, loyal to their, to their long-term values, even yes. though some negative long-term values, mm -hmm. and they can be uh, often sort of disrespectful to women and also extremely homophobic. Yes, it tells more about them than anyone else. But I'm also starting to feel that by talking about these issues uh, globally and by being taught by important uh, cultural figures, that even people in those countries are starting to slowly move away from their bad habits. Yeah, that's. Um, but we also, it's also important not to force people to. Force people to. Uh, yeah. It's, there's many reasons why people think different things. I think the West is a bit insane at, at certain points that forcing one's idea on, onto others. It's uh, not necessarily the right way to do it. And for the final question, I would just like to ask about your closest uh, future plans. After this tour, we spoke already about some activities within our gallery. But uh, other activities I would like to mention in your dreams back in the head? Um, I usually end up just doing things. So, uh, but I have a lot of uh, musical projects going, uh, not just metal, uh, uh, things that I've neglected since the mid-90s, basically. I work quite a bit with uh, Lindy Fay on both her project and also uh, also uh, a project that I have. Uh, we have a side of that, which is more filmatic music. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, so there's a lot of things that need to uh, be put energy into, but uh, yeah, it, it's the it's usually time and time schedules that are, are the tricky ones. Great, so all the best to you, sir, and thank you for your time. You're welcome. Thank you. Pleasure.